Notice this prophetic statement that was made back in 1899 that is right now coming to fulfillment before everyone's eyes. It says that the moneyed men, because they have the power, control the market. They purchase at low rates all they can obtain and then sell at greatly increased prices. This means starvation to the poorer classes and will result in a civil war. Satan's main target for eons has been Christians, as they are the only ones that can threaten him and his long-prophesied agenda. Hence the reason he convinced all the so-called pastors out there to bow to his demands by creating an image to the beast system in Rome via the 501c3 contract that forces every pastor or preacher to join their church or ministry with the state of origin. Jesus plainly stated in Matthew 22, verse 21, to keep the church and state separate. To do the exact opposite is to disobey the Lord so as to obey the man of sin in Rome. Notice what the Pope of the day said back in 2005. It was posted on March 17, 2005. It says, John Paul II believes that the church and state can and must collaborate in their service to the person and the common good with relations of autonomy and difference. That prophecy actually came to fruition when Senator Lyndon Johnson authored the 501c3 bill, which was then made permanent law by President Trump on December 2nd, 2017. That act confirmed the devil now owns all the pastors in the 501c3 churches. Their disobedience to Christ, who said to keep the church and state separate, removed their ability to understand both prophecy and doctrine as it is written. For the only way to understand prophecy and Bible doctrine is to obey the God that wrote it. This is why none of them preach true biblical end-time prophecy, and all of them teach Vatican dogma as if it's Bible doctrine. Now that the wolves, claiming to be pastors, have done as their dying God moved them to do the last few decades with their Vatican doctrines and false prophecies, the enemy of souls knows now that the majority of the people in the Christian churches are unable to trust God to do as he promised in his word when it comes to how he protects his obedient people when the mark of the beast is enforced. They can't trust God to do something they never knew he promised to do for them. And they don't know about the promise because the many false prophets they call pastors can't see it to preach it. A prime example has to be with what the Lord promised to his children right before he returns to take them home to heaven. Notice what he said in Isaiah 33 verses 16 and 17. When speaking of the obedient people of God in the last few moments of earth's history, he said that your bread shall be given him, and his waters shall be sure. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. And then he says, they shall behold the land that is very far off. The Pope knows if you take the food away from the people, they will do anything they demand to get that food. None of them know God will care for them. The very first phase of enforcing the mark of the beast is to prevent the obedient Christians from buying and selling anything including food. And so the beast system in Rome has to make sure the majority of the people trust them and the 10 Herods that have been prophesied to be placed in power in specific locations around the world so as to provide food for them under one condition, that they agree to keep Sunday holy so as to stop the increased disasters they call climate change, but the Bible calls the final signs of Christ's return. This is why they orchestrated a means by which to make food prices go off the chart directly after setting up an infrastructure to enforce the mark using a pandemic. What they built into society the last two years that caused billions into getting the jab will be the exact same system they will use to prevent buying and selling worldwide. And since the mark is to be enforced first in the USA, notice how they are setting the stage to do just that as we speak. They are right now building a crisis so as to force people to be tested 
on trusting to the Lord's promise in Isaiah 33, verses 16 and 17. Just as the pandemic tested Christians to go against the God of the Bible regarding defiling the temple of the Lord, they are now going to test how they trust the Lord again. They need to do this to make sure when the mark is finally enforced, they will have as little opposition as possible. As you watch the articles appear on the screen before you, you have to realize they're going to do all they can to force people into doing as the man of sin is prophesied to try and force everyone to do worldwide. What you're seeing is absolute confirmation they have already built their man-made crisis that will bring about civil war in America so as to bring about a socialist form of government that most leaders today refer to as order out of chaos. This is no coincidence that so many food processing plants have been destroyed the last two years in America. The open and hidden plans of these wicked leaders in the church, as well as the government, are all outlined in the scripture. But because the many false prophets people trust as pastors are more concerned with creating an image to the beast system in Rome so as to fill their pockets under the 501c3 contracts, nearly all Christians have no clue as to what this all means. But there is still hope. If the people repent and ask Jesus for forgiveness and then pray and study the Bible each and every day, as promised, he will send the Holy Spirit to make you strong in his words so as to better understand what's coming next. I mean, have you seen my blog? Each and every week, they're doing something that was prophesied long ago now. It's truly amazing how clear end time prophecies are. Jesus said in Mark chapter 3, verse 27, No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. In a nutshell, if you are obedient and already understand prophecy, then you know why they're burning down all the food processing plants so as to make food very expensive and scarce. You also know why John Paul II and Al Gore created the global warming lie. If you really do study prophecy, you know why the Vatican-inspired chemtrails have created a record-breaking drought to stop food growth in prime western states. You also understand why Bill Gates invested tens of millions of dollars in an Arctic seed bank for better control of the food when he starts selling seeds at exorbitant prices in areas where people are starving. And you also know why he is the largest private owner of farmland in the United States, so as to regulate food production on a socialist level when the Pope finally says to drop the other shoe. That all being said, are you ready? Are you sure? Thank you for watching. God bless.